So we know bronze is an alloy of copper and tin, but how is a bronze vessel decorated with cool mythological animals like this one from Shang Dynasty China made after a metallurgist made the bronze alloy? You might be surprised to learn that the Shang people who controlled the Yellow River Valley during the second millennium BCE invented their own technique for casting bronze vessels and for decorating them too. And it was different from the technique almost everyone else in the world was using. This technique is called the peace mold technique. What is the peace mold technique? Let's learn the peace mold technique step by step using a round vessel called a ding as an example. First, the artist would make a model of the vessel out of clay. For a round ding like this one, the artist would use clay to make a bowl with three pointy legs, propping it up, and two upside down U-shaped handles. Next, the artist would carve decorations into the clay model. Just underneath the rim of the vessel, the artist would add a narrow horizontal band filled with decoration. Once the decoration was carved and the model hardened, the artist needed to make a mold of the vessel that would later be used to cast the bronze version. The artist packed wet clay all around the decorated clay model. Extra clay was added at the top so the artist could add an opening with a funnel at the top of the mold. After clay was packed all around the clay model, the artist then removed it from the clay model in sections. You can see that this one has three sections. Each of these sections would have had an impression of the shape and decoration of the vessel. The clay model was then disposed of and never used again. The three outer mold sections were then reassembled around a clay core in the shape of the vessel with some space in between them. The sections were connected to the clay core using bronze rods. Once the mold was ready, the bronze caster could use the mold to make the bronze version of the vessel. Molten bronze was poured into the mold. The liquid metal filled all open spaces between the outer sections of the mold and the inner clay core. The use of an inner core ensured the vessel would be hollow inside. Once the molten bronze cooled and hardened, the clay mold was broken open to reveal the finished bronze vessel. We just learned how an ancient bronze caster in China made bronze vessels using the piece mold technique. Imagine the time it took to make just one vessel.